Barnes are back to winning ways and we aren't road uh, this time at Wigan. I don't think uh, many people had much belief, uh, probably after Wigan result, beating Bolton final to a uh, last weekend. But again, we come come back to South Yorkshire with three points and a clean sheet as well. So quite a bit to be talking about. We're going to be doing play ratings for the game. Horse voice. <coughs> um, I'm going to be doing player ratings against all about opinions, but uh, before we get on about that, um, did I see this one coming? Had it down as a, a draw. If I'm being honest, I thought we're a draw there. What red card for Wigan ascend, uh, ascending off? What a game changer. Uh, debatable, but we've seen you know not go against us kind of thing. So when it does happen, we take it. Um, what last man? So you can't see what referee were coming on that. And again, being a Barnes fan, we've seen him not get as well. So normally it's like either a yellow card or at best a yellow card. So to get a uh, Wigan down to 10 men, very, very reduced. Uh, I think it helped us in our, our respect. Uh, I thought before that it was uh, probably, I think, Wigan. Um, you know, we're taking game to us. I think we were still sorting out, you know, debuts for Jack Shepard. I thought he had a great game. Uh, for uh, looking a bit more accomplished. Uh, and before we get on about the team lineup, uh, Kitchen uh, said to be injured. A few people were coming in hard and saying, Yeah, is it really? I mean, no, he's not been on the ball as such, fair to say. He says not been in it. Uh, has he been injured? I don't know. You know, there could be a culmination of things. Coming up to the last week of the transfer window, I'm not only putting two and two and together, but a lot of things going off outside the club. Regards certain players uh, either coming in or going out. We all know about Sam Nombe, another player that were rumoured for more or less all week. But we brought a new lad in who scored in his debut. So again, a lot, quite a bit to talk about and we'll get on to player ratings. But um, and again, it's all about opinions. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Uh, Nobody's ever right, nobody's ever wrong. So, I'll play bounds of ratings for the uh, Wigan Athletic game. Coming on to Roberts, I thought his save the second half was an absolutely unbelievable save. And he even got, got congratulated by the Wigan uh, players. Fantastic, fantastic save. And every time I see uh, Roberts play, he looks more accomplished all, all the time. Again, you know, nitpicking and faults and that, you know, kicking this, but his uh, shot stopping is absolutely unbelievable. Uh, I'm getting a 7.4. I thought it had a really good game and also marshalled the, the front three. I'm going to come on to these in a minute. Uh, Cotter, again, 7.1. Uh, he sent to relish for roll. He sent to get back a bit more. Uh, O'Keefe came on for him later on in the second half, but again, for a, a more one of his better games I've seen him play, not only attacking sense but also getting back, trying to get back. So again, I'm getting, I'm getting caught at seven point one. And again, these are just my thoughts. You know, we might you might say a bit too generous, or you know, being just to see what your thoughts are, man, at match as well. Williams took off over captain's armband. We kitchen not uh, making trip. I'm getting seven. Um, Maybe a bit more, I'm a bit unsure with, with Williams. Um, at times, I know he'd been played out of position and did well to marshal defence. Um, maybe seven's a bit too low for him, I don't know. But I thought he didn't do all extraordinary, but then again, he didn't do all bad, if it makes sense. Picked up a cynical yellow where they were ordered all over to their play, but I'll take that all day long and mention that in other videos. So again, Williams. I'll give him a seven. Laputa, 6.8. Again, didn't do it wrong as such. It just uh, took through motions. Um, but again, I think when even they went down to men, apart from probably a short stint at second half, we would try to threaten us. We weren't really troubled. But again, we did what we had to do. Um, we'll have it. We're only 1 0. You need that second goal for that bit of a respite because. On a set piece at all, and had it been not for Roberts with that great save, could have been quite been easily been a different story. 
Jack Shepard, um, I'm getting 7.7. I thought he had a very good game. Um, very good game, I thought he had. He, what can I say? A player that I'm thinking, I hope he comes good, but then again, I hope he doesn't like burn some out and expectations are too high on lad. Uh, still learning, you know, coming to speed with Football League. But having said that, I thought it looked comfortable, looked in control, away from home. Fantastic following as, as, as uh, usual. A thousand fans trying to make a journey. So again, I'm getting Shepard 7.7. Nicky Cadden, again, kind of complimented by the Cotter going down on the left hand side. Trying to get things going, trying to get a uh, link up play and that. Again, we kind of know what we're going to get with Cadden. He seemed to be more settled and he seemed to help out and had a better understanding with Shepard in the left centre back role than he did with Kitchen, if it makes sense. So again, he kind of helped the lad, but also it, it, it complemented one another well. So that's uh, that's an interesting one to keep an eye on. But yeah, I was impressed with that uh, left hand side where. Cadden and Shepard working out uh, pretty quick, to be fair, as if they've been playing for quite some time. So I'm impressed with that uh, little partnership there. Russell, at some point for, um, seen something like saying he won't man at match and stuff like that. And again, he did what he had to do. Um, he seems to try and keep get get hold of the game and boss it kind of bit. Uh, I'm getting seven point four. Jude is still out of him. I, I just hope you know. I hope this is like one of many better games that he has and moves on consistency. Um, since they've won against Port Vale, then he you know went missing. He won't tell him one missing other games. So again, I want him that bit of consistency. But seven point four. Um, I'll give him. I'll give him that. Herbie Kane, again, did a tackle, I think it was, he went for a uh, Brocket play up, I think it played who it was for Wigan, and it was cynical, and I think, you know, don't be red, it was a bit out ref war, but it wants it were yellow. Uh, but apart from that, again, he tried linking up well with Russell, tried complimenting one another well, um, and again, away from home, so he wanted to compete, but it's in the bat in that, that situation. Phillips uh, got replaced by Styles in the second half. Uh, Styles not making a start in 11. Phillips will get 7.1. Again, it will like a bit of rustle and bustle. A few long shots, a few, you know. I think he's still getting up to speed. Missing for his three games with, you know, with a red card kind of thing. Suspension very well hanging over him, but... We know what he's capable of doing. But again, he, he was trying. Styles came on and off of that bit more impetus. Devante Call, I'm going to give 7.5, obviously, on the score sheet for uh, Barnsley. Um, unlucky as well, we disallowed. Um, could have been a lot better. But again, Aidan Marsh came on. I'm, I'm impressed with Aidan Marsh. He's a player that's never seems to fail. Uh, I think he's got pace, he's got enthusiasm, he's got loads of stuff and it offers something a bit more different to the Devante up front. Um, and Aiden, if I'm, if, if I'm not mistaken, he created uh, the young lad's debut. McAtee. Um, and again, a lot of people are saying, give McAtee a man at match for coming on. I was saying that could he miss an open net, but I think he more than made up for it with the control. And again, probably angle, pace of game, just coming on. Uh, whether it been settled into the game, but more better up to speed. Some people are saying McAtee's done more and you know, coming on as a sub and what is as since starting kind of thing this season. And again, there's options via night like now. Um but again, great goal, you know, flippy flippy uh Goal celebration, something different, something uh, good for fans. Uh, well taken goal, seems to be composed and put it away. It looks like we could have a, a decent signing there. A decent signing there. So, yeah, um, 
like I said, remember my thoughts for uh, players. I don't know what your guys think for a man at match. Um, we've, we've a few people in it, to be fair. But I'm gonna, I'm, for me, I'm just going to get to Jack Shepard. And obviously people are saying, oh, well, Russell deserved it. You know, Barry Cotter and Maria Mention and, you know, Liam Roberts and stuff. But I think with Shepard, first on, you know, away game, a lot of pressure on lad. You know, you, you look at the game previous week where they want Bench and uh, they give him the game on in front of him. Would have been better getting it. You know, shout out to Jack Shepard who's had a bit of game time. And Fester given on his second half and he's gone back to Shepherd for the Wigan game. So for me, I think Jack Shepherd's man at match. Um McAtee, great goal, like I said, took it well. Nice uh, flippy flippy bat flip. Devante Cole, again, unlucky not to have a, a second in game, but again, confidence is there away from home. You know, after two home defeats, we go away from home and do a two out. Uh, win but a win's a win going up to last week at transfer window as well so there's going to be some more contact game put out let me know your thoughts about uh, man at match thoughts about performance is it something we can build on is the a formation via like now nah, plays into that formation that's looking a bit stronger do we need any more in certain areas are you happy with what we've got again there's a lot of if books some members, but it's all about opinions. So I've gone for Jack Shepard. Some might go for completely different, but let me know your thoughts on why they deserve that. I can, uh, I think we all can agree that it's going to be a lot better uh, weekend going back to winning ways for Barnsley. So thanks for watching. I uh, know you always do like, subscribe and everything like that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And again, we're going into the uh, final week. Get some content out, we'll look at the transfer window, we'll look at the players, potentially what could be coming out, what could be coming in. It's all about opinions. Uh, so have a good weekend, rest of the weekend. One thing left to say, new heads.